feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world fine? Please Lord give me a sign A sign John? Alright ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of Crazy House Performance. Um, a lot has happened as usual behind the scenes because I work behind the scenes a lot because I don't have a lot of help to hold a camera and weld and do stuff. And hey, look, look who's here again. This is my best friend in the world. Oh, hi. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> what, you don't like your ear played with? No comment. <laughs> Nah, I think we're way past that. No comment again. Yeah. Must nope. have touched a personal subject there. Oh God. <laughs> so anyways, uh, like, it's, like I've been saying, we've been working behind the scenes and Dustin's been a huge help. Christian's been a huge help. And don't you do it again. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Guilty. He's dying. <laughs> Guilty. Just so you know, we've had to redo this tape because he's over here crapping his pants. <laughs> and I'm putting this in, I don't care. <laughs> so, anyways, like I said, we've been doing this behind the scenes and I'm gonna go ahead and just transition into some cinematic stuff of this guy. enjoyed that little cinematic trailer there of what the turbo kit has turned out to look like um, for the first time ever building something like this I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of myself um, they like said hours and hours and hours of time and energy went into this all these pie cuts I mean <laughs> how many beers is it for one pie cut two or three beers three, three. but four inch or the two and a half two and a half I think the two and a half was a beer and a half. Oh, no. I put down two or three. Okay, well that's you, you alcoholic. <laughs> Bull. <laughs> I'm just giving this guy a hard time. So yeah, turned out good. I'm hoping it performs well. Like I said we got stuff from Motion Unbox. So let's uh, jump right into that and keep moving forward. Right. So we got some Motion Raceworks parts. Oh, and we also have some parts from Extreme PSI. If you guys are ever looking for wastegate or a bunch of aftermarket stuff, I I don't think Extreme PSI is like a very known website, but they sell authentic tile stuff, which is kind of hard to come by because there is a lot of fake stuff out there. So they do sell authentic tile wastegates and blow off valves. So I did have to order another tile 44 unit, just like this one because we gotta put two gates on this setup. Had to order another one of these because I left this back on the two, three mantle fold when I pulled that off. But anyways, what we got here is we got one of their low profile oil feed deals to feed the top of the turbo, which is pretty cool. This will get bolted on just like this. And then the feed line comes out like that. So then it's not like this with a 90. It's a lot cleaner look, that's really cool. And then we got two of their two and a half straight wastegate merges. These are supposedly the bee's knees and I'm excited to get these on there and see how well this is gonna weld and just look. I think this is gonna make the job so much easier. Just like they've said, instead of trying to make a merge piece, like this is just gonna be so cool. Oh yeah, and I even forgot I even got a shirt. Ooh. We gotta 
open this because I saw the picture and I was like, dude, that's like the raddest shirt that I think Motion's ever came out with. Was it to, to get free shipping yeah. or just because? No, to get free shipping. Oh, oh yeah, dude. I got that one. Dude. It's awesome. Yeah, that's rad. Did that come with my valve covers too? I no. I need one. So, uh, huge thanks to, I want to say his name's Kevin at Motion for getting me set up with all this. Really rad dude. If you ever call Motion, I think he's the one that usually answers. So, pretty pretty sweet. Hey, they didn't send me a dum dum. What the hell? I got dum dums. I didn't get a dum dum this time. I want a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here is we got a couple uh, fittings for the feed. Here's the feed line and two fittings for the return. And then I already have hose to make that. And we already have a Motion Race Works return line fitting on the bottom of the turbo down here on the floor. First thing we got to do is get these guys uh, unpackaged here and uh, we need to weld these uh, V-bands onto here before we do this weld because this would be a lot easier with it sitting like this so I can make it look pretty pretty. Yeah. But yeah, let's get into it. And I feel like the pain in the past, it needs to stay in the past, you gotta take off the cast. I wanna feel like I'm a new person, I wanna have clear vision and purpose. And I feel like the patient lasts, if you can move on past the things that make you feel bad, and you can change in your brain, I'm certain, I've done it before and man I'm not perfect. I'm changing who I am, I'm making a new plan. Alright ladies and gents, we got the holes cut out for the wastegate merges. Uh, these are pretty much just roughed in. I will get these tacked on there. And then after I final weld it, I'll go through with the Dremel some more and clean those up for the whole opening of the wastegate merge. So yeah, we're going to get this, uh, this one tacked on and then that one. And then we'll pull this whole hot side back off the car and uh get it final welded with it being back purged there we go all right ladies and gents we got the motion wastegate merges welded on welds look pretty damn decent ring around the rosy real quick oh focus yep that'll do pig that'll do Focus. Yeah. Kind of hard to see in there, but you can see we got our, our hole. <laughs> so what we're going to do is uh, bolt this guy back on the car for the final time. Yeah. That's kind of exciting. Yeah, it is, actually. So, yeah, bolt it on for the final time. And then uh, we'll get the turbo torn apart. I got to take the hot side of, off of that to be able to install one of the bolts uh, that you can't get to with it together. But I'm also going to port the hot side on that and gasket match it because it is a little bit smaller than the gasket. So, okay, let's get this thing installed. All right, so we're, we jumped forward quite a bit. Um, as you can see, the turbo kit is pretty much back together. Got the hot side bolted on. Got our wastegates put on. Of course, we kind of got some different colored going, colored stuff going on because this is an old wastegate I had. This is a brand new tile 44. So they're both tile 44s. I put the lowest spring in them. So we're going to start at about, I, well, based off their chart, it's like 4.3 pounds. So that's where I want gate to be. And uh, depending on how efficient this is, you know, that might be lower, it might be higher, but that's where I want to start. And then we'll exchange springs from there to get it where I want. So we got our oil feed and our drain done. As you can see, the drains right here. Comes from there, down to the side of the pan. And then our feed 
This is coming from right here, which I don't know how well you guys can see that. Coming off of this little block. So this is my oil pressure gauge feed there. And then I drilled and tapped into here because I knew I was going to be doing this at one point. Added there, line goes up to the Motion Raceworks low profile oil feed deal. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> we'll show you when it gets back down, but. So, uh, another lesson that we learned and blows me away that with adding this merge on here, actually changed on how all this fits. So I actually had to use a pry bar to pry this over to get this onto this header collector. Um, stainless, dude. Like, when you think you got it figured out, you don't. Yeah. You don't. <sighs> Is it Sunday yet? I want to start it. Yeah. So I'm itching to see what it sounds like. Yeah. So we just got a... Uh, O2 bung in the down pipe, and uh, we got to finish welding up the tip and back purge it. Uh, but I think we got to do some more final adjustments on that. Got to make sure the tip has enough poke. <laughs> so uh, we're probably going to end it off uh, tonight, but then we'll pick pick back up on probably Sunday. So see you guys in a couple days. All right, so it's two days later. It's April seventh, day before my birthday. And uh, we're done. <laughs> Not really. I mean, we still don't have the intercooler hooked up or nothing because I don't have this side of this intercooler pipe built. But we got the radiator in. We got the lower rad hose in, down pipes in, O2 bones in with the O2 sensor hooked up. So now we're going to be able to monitor AFRs and I can readjust the tune. Um, Dad's working on the car trailer today, putting some lights on it. So I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and start it. Got some cool in it. I'm sure it's not enough, but we'll uh, see what happens, I guess. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that because I am excited as hell for this thing to be up and running. 
still got some more small details to figure out but for the most part at least we got to hear it run uh yeah it's gonna be rowdy rowdy you're gonna have to do some upgrades bud i know <laughs> <laughs> so uh i will see you guys in the next video i think uh i think we're doing deer park yeah in the volkswagen mm. here in a couple weeks yep cool or next weekend we're doing dune trip we might film that who knows mm. let me know in the comments if you want to see see that see our shenanigans out at the dunes yeah so this time we'll be sober <laughs> <laughs> so with that i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh i'll see you guys in the next one uh make sure to keep it crazy and get yourself some merch so with that later i feel like i'm losing my mind is everybody in the world fine please lord give me a sign a sign